Hello there, I'm Mark Coulson, editor of Total Cart Magazine, and with Dave Lane, looking at his hardcore range of gear. Now, this is a product that I particularly like, and I know you're particularly I proud of. Very. Tell, me a little... Tell us a little bit more about it. Okay, firstly, as you can see, the size, the lack of size. And you know what I'm like as an angler, I like to be able to move about, mm. make everything down nice and neat, compact. Um, but you will notice, when I do unpack it, this is a bit of a surprise. Not a fan of great big, huge, chunky sleeping bags, but then if you're out there in all weathers, you know, you've got to be warm and you've got to be comfortable. I think it's important that the difference between a stuff sack and a bag, a stuff yeah. sack, it, it, well, it's a compression it sack, a compression if you like. Sack, you literally yeah. stuff it in, yeah, compress it, it down with those straps. Anyhow you like, and the, the, the recommended way to put a sleeping bag into a compression sack is not to roll it up. Mm. You're supposed to put it in totally randomly. Yeah, you just literally feed does, it in, don't That you? compresses the fibres in a different way every time, and it keeps them okay. fresh. I knew you had to do that, I didn't know that yeah. was the reason. Yeah, if you roll right. them up the same way every time, you, you get flat spots in the fibres. Right. So you're, you're in, the intention is to just ram them in and crash it sure. in. Sure. But we'll get it out and we'll have a look. Absolutely. And there it is. And there it is. Right, as you can see, this material, it's got a hollow fill, hollow fibre filling. And what happens with this, Although immediately, although it looks large enough, it looks quite flat, within moments, like puffer jackets or anything mm. made of this material, this fills with the warm air from your body and it goes in and it actually puffs it up. So the, the longer you spend in it, the bigger the bag gets. And the warmer it gets, And I the guess. warmer it gets. Yeah. And on a cold night, for example, you'll get in there and you fluff it about a little bit and within a short space of time, suddenly... Toasty. Yeah, mm. you're, you're wrapped in a great big cone of warmth. It's I have lovely. to say, one thing that stands out to me immediately is the actual material itself, because one thing I detest in sleeping bags is fleece lining. Yeah. It sticks to you, you move, it moves. Yeah, it's it's just not the yeah, one I'm for me. a great lover either. But this is a very, very smooth, comfortable material. And the other thing I find that if you... I use this bag all year round. You know, I've been testing it um, right the way through in the summer, uh, started in last winter. Um, and I find in the summer, it's quite cool. Right. The material is quite cooling mm. as you get into it. Um, and in the winter, like I say, is when you get a little bit of heat going in there, it builds up. You almost warm the bag and the yeah, bag then stays the bag, warm. Yeah, then right. warms you. Um, on this neck baffle section, you'll notice that I've cut this piece here out so that you can tuck yourself in. I don't like it right over my face. No. Yeah, but I do like a bit of warmth, stops any breeze and, and cold right. creeping in right. and, and any warmth. I guess it keeps it's it off your shoulders out. as yeah. well, doesn't it? Yeah. So once you've got your heat in there, that's going to keep it in. But if you want to, you can still keep your face face nice and free. Um, so when you say you've used it all year round, is, does it does it have a rating as such, or is it literally an all year round bag? Um, it's an all year round bag. I mean, so you wouldn't you wouldn't need to put a bed chair cover on it, say in I, the deepest. No, I mean winter. I used it on monks last winter um, when I got the first sample. Uh, and it was really cold, right. you know. You know what last winter was. Yeah, right, no, I you know? remember. Yeah. I mean, I went there one day and spent four or five hours smashing the ice up from a rowing boat, and then fished that night. Yes, wow. the lake froze up again, but I had to survive in my sleeping bag, mm. and I slept in just this, no cover. Um, yeah, I was fully clothed, but I was completely warm enough. Brilliant. And that was minus five, minus six, seven, whatever. It was mm. really cold. Um, and I've used it throughout the summer, so yeah, it's ideal, really. It's got. Crash dips on both sides, obviously, whichever side you want. But you can still secure them with the Velcro. You can, so yes. Because yeah. you only ever need one that side. Is, that is at the beauty of it. Yeah. You? If you're getting out of this side safe, if you haven't got this securing thing, throughout the night, because they're crash dips, this is going to move down, yeah. you know, and come undone. But the side you're not using, you just tap it into Brilliant. place. It's uh, plenty about, it's actually quite a bit of room. Though. I'm, I'm amazed at how much bag there is, yeah. considering yeah. what it looked like. Oh in that yeah, stuff yeah, set. yeah. It does. It will take any size of angler. Um, there is plenty of room in there. Another thing on the subject of size, like you say, it is, it is a substantial size bag, but it's got this little design in here. If you unzip these side zips, this unzips all the way down to the foot. It's actually got a hidden expander panel. Oh, so you can actually widen the bag itself. You can itself. widen it and you've got one of these in both sides. So if you take that measurement there and double it, Mm. You know, you've got almost a, a foot of extra bag. Um, 
if you've got a bigger guy in there. Or all, the, all these guys that use like, you know, the, the, the wider style of bed yeah, chair, absolutely. which are quite popular yeah, yeah, these days. Yeah. So it will fit any, any size of bed chair. And not only that, this also helps um, as a heat control. You know, if you want a smaller bag, say in the winter, and you, you, you want to keep all that heat mm. in and, and be cocooned, if you like, sure. in there, then have it on the small set. Narrow it down a little yeah. bit. And yeah. in the summer, if you open up both sides, so you've got a larger bag, you've got a bit more circulation of air in there, keep you a bit cooler. That's brilliant, because obviously the Thermotex material that it's made of, yeah. that's breathable in itself, yes, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah, if you can is. give yourself that little yeah. bit of room yeah. as well, that, that obviously adds oh, to that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's got that sort of versatility as well. That compacts down to next to nothing. Mm. It can end up being a very big, you know, very oh, spacious really like that. bag. That's, that's a, yeah. a truly and you wouldn't know it was feature, there. It? You wouldn't know it was there at all, would you? You know, it's just a it's no, almost just like a padded baffle on yeah. the side. Yeah. Um, but if you want, you can open it up and have it between six inches and a foot wider across. And you obviously got your, your kind of your retaining. Yeah, yeah. You have got straps. one of these on each end. One goes over the head section. One goes over the foot section. Just keeps it nice and steady on the bed there. chair. And because yeah. of the material it's made from, um, it's obviously a little bit of a slippery style of material. I put these. These are grip sections. Oh, okay. So they're yeah. almost like rubberized. They're beams, rubberized, they? and they're yeah. all, although they're not sticky. They're, they're getting that in weight. place. Yeah. Right. That, so that's going to keep it in place when you're actually sitting sideways mm. on the bed. Um, and to that ends as well, I've got these you can fit around bed chair legs, around the bed chair frame. Um, it's fully adjustable. Just to secure so, that little so bit yeah, more. Yeah. Wherever this happens to line up with, you can just click it on. Um, and you've got the same at both ends. Uh, and another envelope section like that on the foot section. So once you've got it on your bed chair, Four clips, two it's envelopes. Nowhere, is it? Your non-slip sections in the middle. It stays where. What about the guys who like to leave it on a bed chair and fold it up afterwards? That's the absolute beauty of this. I, I, I don't think I've ever taken a sleeping bag off of a bed chair mm. ever. And the problem is, if you've got one of these big chunky five seats, you can't on close the, the, the things, bed down, can you? The bed's like that, yeah. isn't it? You know, it won't shut. This literally, you just push the sides in between the frames, and you can shut the bed chair up completely and utterly flat. Brilliant. It compresses. Totally, yeah, that's nothing. Excellent. Dave, you've sold it to me. It's, uh, that's it's definitely one of the products that I'm going to keep is, an eye out for. It is for. a fantastic bag. I'm well happy with it.